Hi my darlings, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's episode is all about minimalist footwear. Just to do a quick disclaimer, I'm not an extreme minimalist. I would like to be, but I like clothes and shoes too much. But I am a minimalist and compared to what I had in my closet before, compared to it now, it's pretty darn good. So let's get straight into it. The first pair of shoes I own, and this is more for spring and summer and early fall, are my Birkenstocks. I, in fact, I wear them all year. I wear them with socks, really. If I could only own one pair of shoes, well, two, it would be my Birkenstocks and my Uggs. That's it, because they are so comfortable. And what I found with my Birkenstocks, I've had these for about 10 years. They're still doing well. They're the suede. You know, my footprint is definitely in there. Love them. They just, they go with everything. Absolutely anything I wear in my wardrobe, they go with. They're my babies. Okay, my husband hates Birkenstocks, but I love them. The second minimalist shoes I have is for when I, I want to do a, a nice long walk. And these I picked up this year. They're by Merrill, and these are actually called minimalist shoes. <laughs> They're very lightweight. I bought them from Amazon. They're super, super lightweight. You know, there's no padding or nothing in, but I was really surprised at how comfortable they are. So I own these, and these are my... I don't exercise, but I, I take the cats for long walks. These are my really easy walking around shoes and the last pair for spring summer and maybe early fall i found these this year they're from old navy and i picked them up with a haute cash because i did want a pair of lace-up sneakers because sometimes if you're wearing a nice little dress such as this little dress then a nice little pair of lace sneakers can up the look a bit you know, I don't mind wearing my Birkenstocks with them, but if I want to go out and uh, meet my friend in that, a nice little pair of sneakers. I didn't buy them in white because I want them to go through the seasons and to, to stay nice and, you know, nice, the nice colour. But these are a faux suede, old navy, nice rubber bottoms, do the job. So those are my three pair of, that I wear, I would say the most. And yeah, I love all three pairs. The next sort of two pairs of things I own are the ankle booties and I discovered ankle booties last year well you know I've always had them hanging around but they've always been uncomfortable or, or they didn't match my outfits so I really did have a purge when I started doing my minimalist wardrobe and then I found these on Amazon they're the Kenneth Cole reaction I bought these last year they were $55 and they're so super comfortable i got the natural but it has more of a snake kind of print going through but i still wear them with like i would still wear them with this dress i would have no problem and little back zip mine are very clean and my trick is with with anything that i'm not wearing socks i put a panty liner inside there's one in there so when i'm going to wear them for the day i will I just use the poised panty liners you can get a big box of them put a panty liner inside wear them for the day doesn't matter if your feet perspire because when you come home you throw them away and then your shoes are kept nice and clean and I found these to be much better than getting one of those insoles that stays in because they can smell you know so that is how I keep them clean just a little tip uh, so those were last years and these have lasted really well and then this year I wanted a tan pair because I, I obviously want some neutral colours in, in my wardrobe. They're a more cool neutral. I wanted a warm neutral now. And I did buy the Kenneth Cole, which were $44 from Amazon. But these are a harder leather. Uh, they're the same concept with a back zip. And they have this little detail here. Nice rubber soles. But like I say, compared to the others, I have to wear socks with these because the inside is really hard against my toes. And I don't mind that. They'll wear in over the over the years. They're a nice leather. So those are the only ankle booties I own. Like I say, I don't own I don't own a black. I just I just you know I, I don't know why I just don't own a black. I just wanted to have two neutral colours in my wardrobe. 
The last things I own are the over the knee boots. I do like over the knee boots and I've managed to find some that are very cost effective and they're lined and they're faux suede. I'll just show you. I bought these last year. Black. There's many of them out there, but these were a good price. Little thick pull at the back. So side zip so that when you want to put your foot in put your foot in you know that way and it gives you some space these have a nice little gold tab at the back nice low heel but these were called the winter edition and they have faux fur lining now the fur lining isn't as thick as as uggs say but it's if you can you don't have to wear socks with these because it's so soft and velvety inside um and they last they've lasted me really well uh, so this year i went back and i bought them in the khaki 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 so they're the only black things i have in my wardrobe i figured well if i have to give something up i'll give the ankle booties up in black and get the long ones because the long ones look a little bit more sexier and yeah i just like them so i don't need two black things but these khaki ones i did go back and, and buy another pair because they were like i say they were 29.99 and i can wear them in the snow um well i'm going to try wearing them in the snow and you can see the faux fur line in here they keep your legs nice and warm and these were from amazon and they're, they're from the dream pairs women's suede over the knee thigh high winter boots winter boots they're called i got the upland black and the upland khaki i will put a link in the description below and they were both 29.99 so the prices have stayed as they are which is very good because i thought the prices would go up this year and those are the only like i say other than a pair of um uggs that i own and i've had for many years and a pair of rain boots that's it that and that's not a lot but I find that sticking with these neutral colours and the more blander colours, I can go more colourful with my outfit. And then depending on the season, I can go in and just, you know, I could wear this dress with the Birkenstocks. If I'm going out then, I can wear them with the sneakers. And then going into sort of early fall, I can wear, if I want the tan kind of look, I can wear this look. And then going into winter, a nice long pair of boots. So I can, I can make my clothes last longer by wearing the neutral colour in the shoes. That's the way I do it. <laughs> well, that was my take on my minimalist footwear. I've gone from being, like I say, someone who owned 30 or 40 different pairs of shoes and struggled to find one pair that went with an outfit because I used to go and buy an outfit and then I'd think I don't have the right shoes I, did, I don't have any of that anymore if I'm completely honest I can then put my time and my money into buying a more a more prettier <laughs> dress or outfit in silk or something like that and then just wear the, the footwear with them now for people who are thinking but sandra you don't own any um high heels or stuff like that i really don't have um i don't really don't go out that, that often to do's or events and stuff like that but if i was invited to a wedding now i'd wear a maxi dress and probably <laughs> probably my birkenstocks because i'm at that age where i just don't give a shit and let's face it, it's not about me, it's about the beautiful bride. So, yeah, that's the way I would go. I'd just be, I'm at that age where I just want to be comfortable. You know, what can I say? So, that is my wardrobe. That is my footwear wardrobe. I hope you liked it. It'd be interesting knowing, are you a beginner min minimalist and looking at maybe downsizing some of your things? Or are you already a minimalist? And what kind of shoes do you own? Any comments would be appreciated. And if you like my content, please hit that subscribe. I am trying to grow my channel and that would be great. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.